and also I have a little date. <laughs> I have a little date. <laughs> another vlog let me say this this month is going to be a very 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 busy month for me i literally spent the entirety of the morning mapping out my entire month um which i'm not done yet we're, we're about to head to starbucks so i can finish that up but i got like the most high priority most important things done first this morning but october is gonna be a, a very busy month for me you guys i have some very 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 big news i closed a really big brand deal this month like i was working and negotiating this brand deal months ago you guys completely forgot about it and they circled back with me today so um i'm just so so excited i feel so blessed so fortunate i feel like things are you know coming together i just have to really stay on top of things so we're about to go to starbucks so we can hash some things out then i need to go to the hair store and just run a few other errands um but i'm so excited to get back into the swing of things october is just going to be a really big month for me you guys there's just so much going on i can't wait to bring you guys all along with me and um that, let's, let's just get started <laughs> let's just get going with the day girl one thing i will say is that as much as I love being like a businesswoman, yeah, 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 girl, when it comes down to taking care of business, mm, when it comes down to taking care of business, girl, that's the part that I don't like. Being a businesswoman is fun until you have to take care of business, girl. But um, we're gonna get it done because we are a grown woman doing grown woman things. We're in our grown woman era. So let's just get going. I'm gonna give you guys a little outfit of the day. It's really chill. I'm gonna give you guys a little OOTD, a little chill outfit of the day. You know, I'm wearing my New York Yankees hat, which I've been wearing this like crazy. I'm so happy I bought it. Regular t-shirt, a little like jacket around the waist, some leggings, Nike shoes, and the Telfeezy because again, today is an office day, but I'm gonna be running some other errands because I think I wanna film tomorrow, but yes girl so let's get going because i have a curly wig and i need my leave out to be curly i need some little curling rods this is pretty much like what i'm looking for right here you can see i think these are good and these are good and sometimes i used to think about getting these but um my leave out ain't long enough girl okay so let me get a stocking cap and i'll be done so i've literally been at starbucks like editing for hours and i'm at a stopping point so i'm like let me try to go find a little outfit so i can film in it so there's a forever 21 red next to the starbucks that i was shopping at so i'm here just to see if i can find any cute things because a lot of people have been saying that forever 21 has stepped up their game i believe it when i see it and what I'm seeing right now, girl, is looking like the same old, same old. But, um, let's, girl, what? Girl. <laughs> Be for real. Be for real right now. I'm, uh, girl, I'm not even about to waste my time, child. Let, let me go, let me go to North Park, okay? Okay, so we are in Zara right now. Just trying to find some good pizzas for fall, so. You know, I'm trying to get back in my fashion bag, girl. So let's try some pieces on. I promise I'm actually gonna show y'all because I'm always like, let's try the stuff on. And I never show y'all what it is. So I promise I'm actually gonna show y'all this time. Dress number one. And I think I like aspects of it, but I'm not crazy about the dress in its entirety. Uh, I'm not really crazy about it. It doesn't like do anything. It doesn't really say anything to me. Uh, okay, so I think like I don't know what I thought this was gonna look like. I thought it was I don't know girl But it's not giving what I thought it was going to do. It literally just looks like a men's t-shirt with like a little like Handkerchief like that you like put on the table like a little napkin thing like just sewn to the side 
girl, it's ridiculous. This much is my butt, like a bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. Let me just go to Nordstrom's. So right now I have the small on in this little jumpsuit, which I think it fits really good, especially around my waist. I just wish the pants were a little longer. So I got the medium to see how the medium is gonna fit. But I think the look all together is super cute. Good morning. Um, I caught up on my sleep, girl. So I am feeling good, I'm feeling good. Yesterday, yesterday was a semi-productive day. I got a little bit done. I got a little bit done, but today is gonna be like a very, very productive day. Um, so we're gonna start off with, I bought some things from Mango. I'm just gonna show you right now. But I bought some earrings from Mango, and I'm only keeping one pair because I only, I don't know, like I'm very particular about how earrings look on my ear. But um, let me just show them to you one by one. So the first pair that I got are gonna be these right here. So I got these right here because I'm like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. But they dangle like a little bit too long, girl. Like look how far down they go. They're just too big for my head. I have a really, really tiny head. And then I got these as well, which are super cute. But um, I just don't like the way they hang on my ear. Like, I don't know. I don't like the way they hang on my ear and they didn't look how I thought they would look. I got these also. Uh, I don't know, they just weren't giving. I wasn't in love with them. And for me to keep something, I have to love it. I also got these. Now these are, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm still going back and forth with these, but ultimately I think I'm gonna return them because I feel like I love how they look on other people, but how they look on me, I'm not crazy about it. Which I guess is that's one thing we like, I, I'm like still deciphering like with my like fashion sense is I love how some things look on other people, but on me, it's not like, you know, like it doesn't give the same thing, which is fine. But I have to know like what works for others doesn't work for me. And then these right here are the last ones that I got that I'm gonna return because I don't know, again, when I put them on, they just really weren't doing it for me. Now let me show you the one pair that I am gonna keep. I'm definitely gonna exchange these out for some other earrings that I saw and some clothes. So these are the earrings that I kept. They're super cute. They come in gold as well. So I think I'm gonna go back and get the gold ones. But I love like how just sparkly and like ooh, because i don't have anything like this i don't have anything like this so i think they're just really really cute yeah i gotta wash my hair tonight i cannot wait to get my perm i'm getting my perm next like in a week actually yeah in a week from today i'm getting my hair perm going back to my bob i'm so excited because i'm trying to wear my real hair more especially now that i know how to like maintain it especially since i know how to maintain it because before after i would get it done i would just go back to wigs immediately because i didn't know how to like straighten it or do anything but girl she done taught us a lot of maintain she done taught herself how to maintain oh it's over baby it's over i also have to stop at home depot because i need to get a little screw for my camera because the, <laughs> the projection screen and i honestly think i don't know if that has anything to do with how the camera itself records and why it's been looking like kind of dark lately screen how it slants down it's like kind of crooked so we gotta fix that miss girl okay sporty gal sporty gal fit i meant to show you guys so on the last live when i was getting ready for my little ice cream date y'all hello I'm at my apartment. What do you mean? Don't you have a Skims dress? You can no. I literally do not own any like type of dresses from Skims. But just so y'all can kind of get like a feel for what it's gonna look like, it's gonna look kind of like this, right? This wig is on its last leg. Oh my gosh, he texted me 20 minutes ago. He just got off the highway. Child, this man is there. <laughs> y'all, we have to come to a decision now. <laughs> A little bit of Vaseline made my skin glow real nice. Okay, y'all can see in the mirror, like it's giving like effortless 
you know men love when you smell sweet so i just want to do like the black opium i put i sprayed on my ysl black opium spray and somebody was like oh the ysl libre is like smells so so much better and i was like girl i don't have that lo and behold little did i know i did have that it was waiting for me in my mailbox in some pr so um to the girl to the woman that said that this smells so much better than the ysl black opium you are correct <laughs> this smells so good oh my gosh it smells so good i'm gonna have to come back home and clean up but yes this oh my gosh it smells so good i sprayed a little bit today to exchange the earrings right and when I went to exchange them she was like oh the earrings are final sale you know for um, like sterilization purposes which I get it like I trust me like I get that and I was like dang like in my head I was like oh, okay I didn't know that it took me aback because like I was like dang if I was buying something that was final sale like I wish you would have told me like I would have probably like took more time to like think about like buying it you know so I was like okay whatever like I'll just take the L because anytime like something like that happens and I feel like I don't know like I just don't want to be that person like get your manager blah 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 like that's not fair like I don't know like I just don't want to be that person so I didn't think it was fair but I was like I just I don't know like I just don't want to like I, I just have a problem sometimes with speaking up for myself in situations like that when it comes to like refund and exchanges I don't know why but when it comes to stuff like that it's just hard for me to speak up for myself like I always take the L so I just bought some other stuff because I wanted to exchange it out but I bought it and I was like oh like I just felt I don't know like really defeated <laughs> and um, I went to Zara and I tried something on in Zara while I was in that dressing room I couldn't even focus because I was like that's not fair so I was like you know what? I'm gonna go back and say something I'm gonna go back and like speak up for myself I literally was like and because every time the earrings that I was trying to exchange every time I walked through a, a sensor it would go off So now everybody looking at me like I'm a thief like I'm stealing. I'm like, I'm not trying to steal girl I don't even want these. I'm trying to give them back, but they won't let me so I Go back and I one tell her every time I walk through a sensor the bag goes off So we go up to the register and I said, you know what? yesterday when i came and bought these earrings i wasn't made aware that they were final sell if they were i think i would have you know took more t like i if i were i think things would have been would have been different and now because i wasn't made aware i don't think it's fair that i'm being faulted because i now i can't exchange or return them when i wasn't made aware of that and she goes yeah i am like girl like i really was just expressing how i feel like i wasn't like mad I was I was just expressing myself I, I was just expressing myself like I just don't think it's fair like I'm not gonna get mad at you I just want you to know like how I feel so even if I can't get my exchange or return like just at least for the next person like just make sure you know like just at least tell tell some, tell somebody so she's like do you want me to get a manager I say yeah sure you can she goes against the manager, manager comes over. She was like, okay, so we can do an exchange. I said, well, that's the thing. Like I had already bought this other stuff because when I originally came to exchange it, I was told that I couldn't, but I, so I went ahead and bought this. So she bought this stuff. So she was like, oh, okay, well we can just go ahead and exchange it out this one time, but move, moving forward, everything is final sale. Now I know that Miss Coral, but thank you so much. Like Loki, I'm happy I got my money back, but I'm just even happier that I, that I spoke up for myself because when I cannot tell you how many L's I've taken when it comes to stuff like that like I don't know why I just shut my mouth and just take the L like I'm just like and I'll just be upset about it forever and then I'm stuck with all this stuff that I don't like girl I've done that so many times I said no I gotta I gotta this gotta change a change has to be made girl so I said no like let me just at least go try to express myself like I because me and the girl like we was you know kiki and it was cool i was like i don't want to go off on her i'm not gonna go off on her i'm just gonna express to her that i just don't think that's fair i got my exchange girl i got my money back so i'm gonna show y'all 
um what i got i keep saying i'm gonna show y'all what i got when i got when i get home and i never do so let me just show you now girl i got some new earrings and low-key she goes do you want to exchange the earrings that you bought today i said well no now i know that they're a final sale like you know i have bought these earrings after you told me that they're final sale so no these i'm like i'm not trying to bend the i'm not trying to you know take advantage of the the situation that's not what i'm trying to do and i'm not just trying to have my way i just i'm trying to just you know get what's fair you know do what's fair i bought these after you told me they're final sale no girl like <laughs> i'm gonna keep them because i was already made aware that these were final sales so i knew what i was getting into when i bought these plus i think they're cute now i don't know what they're gonna look like on let's let's see right now let's see what they're gonna look like on i hope i like them girl <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to go in there and be like, you didn't tip. No, I'm just kidding. Yesterday, which are these. Which, and then I got this really cute bag. And I like how soft it is. And it really just reminds me of like the Loewe, like puffy bag. Anyway, I need to go grocery shopping so I can get home. I was supposed to be by, back at the apartment by 2 o'clock, girl. And 151. So we are a little behind. <laughs> okay, I made it back home. I went grocery shopping and I didn't get anything like crazy. I just got some Melinda's Thai sweet chili sauce. If you have not tried this, you are missing out. This tastes so good on like chicken, fish. And then I got some the Cholula hot sauce sweet habanero. The sweet habanero one specifically tastes so good. Then I got you know two pizzas. Y'all know I love these pizzas. Let me leave one out because I'm gonna eat one. Got some green beans. I'm gonna make that with salmon probably maybe later on tonight. So I've been wanting to try like some different lashes, like some more like natural-ish lashes. So I got these little baby ones right here. Usually I like a taper. I feel like this has like a slight taper to it. So I'm gonna fix, see how these uh, look. And then I also got these as well, which now that I look at it, look pretty similar to the ones that I already have. I also got these little press-on nails just to see like how they look and I might wear like just a regular front like wear it like how it is like maybe for a week because I wanted to wear it like for my brand deal and then maybe like after a week or so take them off reapply them and paint over them with this really pretty chocolate brown these are actually so stinking cute yeah I'm just gonna shave down the sides a bit but these are actually cute and then, especially once I paint over it Hold on, girl. I may have to cancel my nail appointment. <laughs> I made me a little nail appointment, girl. I might have to cancel it. Because I used to wear press-on nails before. Like, I would have them custom-made. But then I was like, uh, it's not the right length. I, I don't need them that long. Okay, kids. Okay, kids. Girl, I might have to do it now. I mean, do it tonight. But my apartment's kind of a mess. Um, so I think I'm going to clean it up really quickly and then start writing. Because I just feel like... I need my space to be like clutter free for me to like be able to write um, because I have to submit some things for these uh, brand deals. So I'm going to get started on that. night girl and after a day like i had today i need it <laughs> i am gassed out okay my piercings are being a pain in the butt but we are about to refresh and revitalize ourselves girl we're gonna do this hair get it together like girl so we're gonna go ahead and do this hair because one girl i'm about tired of wearing that other wig I'm about tired of wearing that other wig. And also, I have a little date. <laughs> I have a little 
today, girl. I'm Saturday, girl. This is gonna be my first real date in over five years, girl. Over five years. Low key, a date with a man, a man ask you what type of food you like. I say, I like Italian. He said, I make reservations. <gasps> Baby, I don't want to hear Jack Lance bare minimum. Let me have it. Let me have it, y'all. I haven't dated in five years. I've been spending the last five years just working on me, figuring out me, loving on me, growing me, just, you know, focusing on me. And I told myself, you know, you know, I had my little, you know, I've been telling myself, like, I want to get back yo know, i want to start dating i'm not saying i want to fall in love right out the gate i want to really take my time with it um and enjoy it i really want to take my time and enjoy it because the thing about it is when i get married i want to meet i want to meet my mister forever i want to meet my mister forever okay and rushing into forever is not a good thing girl you can't be rushing into forever girl you know, so I'm just really taking my time with it. I'm not tying myself down too quick, even though, you know, she's 30 now, so I'm not taking too much time, but I'm really just enjoying it. You know, like I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, girl. I'm not even putting my, I'm not putting my eggs in any basket, to be quite honest. I'm keeping my eggs to myself. Right, the baskets are there, but I'm not dropping any eggs in any baskets. I'm keeping all my eggs to myself because it took so long to get these eggs, girl. It took me five years. Girl, I know my hair look crazy. I know my hair look crazy, girl, whatever. It took me five years to get these eggs. So I can't be too quick to just go and give them away and put it in these men's baskets, you know? So, I'm really taking my time and really learning about me as I date because, again, I haven't dated in five years and I haven't dated as a, as a whole human being, as a full human being, as a healed woman, you know, I'm dating in a different mind frame than I was when I was in my mid twenties, girl, cause I was 25. <laughs> I was 25 the last time I dealt with a man. So my mind frame back then was so much different than what it is now. So now when I operate, you know, with these men and I'm dating and things like that, I am moving different. I have to relearn some things, retrain myself with some things. And I'm like, well, this is what I used to do back when I was 25. But now that I am in a different mind frame, I'm in a different place in my life, is that how I should still be moving? Is that how I should still be feeling? You know, um, I went live um, last week to talk about the mini date that me and this guy went on last week, right? And um, I, I had like my thoughts and y'all were talking to me about like a couple of different things, but um, I don't know. I think this time around, like as I'm dating, I'm not being too quick to, you know, really give my heart or my emotions to anyone. I think this is the first time where I've, been, I've dated where I feel like I can actually regulate my emotions, where I am in control of my emotions and whoever I'm talking to does not dictate how I feel. Because when I was 21, 22, 23, 24, and I was dating, whoever I was talking to had so much control over my emotions and how my life and my day went. You know, if me and that person weren't on good terms, my day was terrible, I couldn't eat, da 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 da. Like, if he didn't text me, I'm like, what is he doing? Is he with someone else? I'm, 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 I'm I, you know, so it's not like that now. Now I'm just, I'm, I feel, I, girl, I feel free, 
I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel I really feel like I'm out here like a free agent, <laughs> like like they do in football or basketball. I just really feel like I'm a free agent, and I'm like the star player, and all these teams want to draft me, but I'm like, where where should I go? You know, where should I go? It's 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 my pick, you know. So I'm really just taking my time, weighing my options, and enjoying it. I know a lot of people say the dating pool has pee in it. It does. It does, <laughs> it does. But, 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 um, I think even with all the pee in it, girl, um, you really just have to like sift through and be conscious and be prayerful and things like that just about the decisions you make and the people. Hold on y'all, it's my mama, girl. Okay, Miss Girl, I don't know what I was saying, but um, so now that I've combed my hair out, let's go ahead and wash her. I'm hoping that my hair doesn't mat up. Like, I'm really hoping it doesn't mat up. the way that it's Saturday okay it's literally Saturday right now the day before I'm supposed to upload this video haven't started editing this vlog which I will do today because I am determined to get this up by tomorrow um but y'all know I got a date girl y'all know I got a date tonight so I don't have like a, a like I don't know so I have this that I bought right I have this that I bought Ooh, the natural lighting is hitting. Anyway, I have this that I bought that I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I want to wear it on the date because I don't think it's like datey enough, right? Um, or, or like the last past two days, I told y'all a lot is going on this month. I've been working on campaigns and y'all know I've been working on campaigns for Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack and low key, I've been looking at some of the stuff at Nordstrom Rack and, um, I'm not gonna lie, girl, it's looking kinda cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is looking kinda cute. So I'm trying to figure out, like, should I go to Nordstrom Rack and maybe just pick up a little dress or something? I mean, this is cute. I just don't know if it's date night cute. So that's why I'm like, maybe I should just go get a little dress and maybe like a pair of heels. I'm thinking I just wanna try to get like a cute pair of heels. Well, you know what? I have some cute heels. I do have some cute heels. But the thing is, they're not comfortable. These are like my only, I feel like, semi-comfortable pair of heels. Oh, my toes look so cute. I just did my toes the other day. But the thing is, y'all, I feel like I'm gonna be taller than this man. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be taller than this man if I wear heels. That's why, I, oh, look how, look how pale. I need, bruh. I'm just gonna go take a quick look because if I can just find a cute long sleeve because it's kind of cool outside girl like I was not expecting it to be as cool as it is outside but it's pretty cool outside if I can just find a cute knit tight um long sleeve then I might I might be good I might be able to you know I'm just gonna try there in H&M and um see what I can find and then I'm gonna come back and edit this video because I have to get it up like I literally have to get it up so let's just see what we can quickly find Cold. It is so cold. Anyway, so here's the thing. I think I do have a, um, so there's a dress that I actually got from H&M. It's loud up in here. There's a dress that I got from H&M that I actually cut it and made it into a shirt. <laughs> Why I did that, I don't know. Y'all know I got ADD and my impulse, my impulsive thoughts take over me all the time. So... I impulsively cut the shirt into a dress thinking literally and I because I literally bought the dress and I said this would be such a cute date night dress and I said Jacqueline you don't see yourself going on dates anytime soon and girl girl so now I'm looking stupid okay because I cut that dress but I'm hoping that they have that dress still at H&M because if I don't find anything at Nordstrom Racks or um what was the other place I was gonna go? Nordstrom Racks or H&M. I feel like there was a third place. 
I feel like there was a third place. I can't go back to Mango Girl because I feel like if I go back to Mango, <laughs> if I go back to Mango, I feel like they're going to be like, girl, what do you want? Like you already caused a ruckus the last time you were in here. What do you want? I'm not going to go back to Mango because I really want to find something cheap, 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 girl. Like I'm a bird. Cheap, 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 cheap. Okay. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. I'm not trying to spend money, period. Okay, but here we are. So, I'm gonna go to Nordstrom first because that's my best bet. Look at me, girl, advertising for Nordstrom. I'm gonna go to Nordstrom's first because that's my best bet at finding something cute and affordable at Nordstrom Rack. I have so much energy. Um, and if I don't find anything at Nordstrom, we're gonna go to H&M. And if that doesn't work, if I don't find anything there, because I, I don't know why, I just refuse. Zara right now is just not doing what it's supposed to. That's why I don't even want to waste my time in Zara. I'm not going to Mango. I feel like I'm just banned. I'm banning myself for right now from Mango. Um, which low-key, I posted Mango. Um, the thing that I showed y'all, my little reel, my little Instagram reel, whatever, that you know I showed y'all when I went to go shopping at Mango. Y'all, I posted it on TikTok and people on TikTok were like, take this down. People don't, a lot of people don't know about Mango. Um, let the girls shop at Zara. Let the girls shop at Aritzia. So I'm like, I didn't know Mango was like a hidden treasure like that, girl. I didn't take it down though because <laughs> I don't gatekeep. Or what, well, that's a lie. I did my nails the other day. Um because after I had my nails done the last time, I was like, man, I really like the look of, you know, a cute little almond, something. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm a French, like a white French tip girl. I don't think that I'm a white French tip girl. I don't think it goes with my vibe. Um, I think if I buy like the right type of tool, I could possibly paint the white French tip myself because I used to do my own nails all the time miss girl so i think that i could possibly paint the white french tip myself but it's cute and it was only eight bucks so i can cancel my appointment to get my nails done next week save myself some dollars girl because i don't know i've just been in the mood to save my money <laughs> i've been in the mood to save my money and i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna fight it okay y'all i got a day tonight it's hitting me i have a date tonight okay anyway <laughs> y'all this is a good nordstrom look how cute this is this is a really good nordstrom rag i'm i'm shook i always avoided this one because i thought it was gonna be sucky oh my gosh yo my mom would love this i think i'm gonna buy this for her for the brand deal oh wait mom don't be watching this. This is so cute. She would love this and she loves Michael Kors. It's only 40 bucks. This is so her style. Okay, wait, let me say focus. This is not about my mom, even though I think I have a potential gift for her. <laughs> this is about my date tonight and I have to hurry up and find something. These heels, which I think are so cute. I love the, what is it? Like the crocodile detail. And then I found these boots, which it's really hard for me to find boots that fit my leg. And these fit the entirety of my leg. Like they go all the way up and they're like tight on my leg and my ankles, which is so hard to find because I have little chi chi legs and thighs. Y'all know that. So y'all, I have been wanting a pair of these shoes for so long. Look what I just found in here. I'm gonna try them on. I'm freaking out right now. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I came across a pair of these in here. Oh my gosh, they fit. They fit so good. Let me see if I like how they look on me. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Okay, I really don't know if I'm gonna get them or not because I know I don't need to. I was literally just about to leave because I said, let me go find my outfit first and then I'll come back here and just get the shoes. I have the freaking sneakers and the house slippers. Y'all, don't even, I just, I can't right now. I'm, I really set myself up for this, but it's the fact that I don't see another pair of these shoes. That's what makes me want to just buy them. And they're a cute color scheme too. Let me think. Dang, y'all. 
This is the best Nordstrom rack I've ever <laughs> I've ever been to. Like their beauty section, look at all this. So this is a part of it. This is their fragrance, which I have to get a bunch of fragrance for the brand deal. Um, I don't think I have to do any hair care really. This is the rest of the fragrance. And then this is the rest of like the beauty stuff right here. Oh, nail polish. <laughs> now you're speaking my lingo. Y'all, and I've been sleeping on this one, for real, for real. Okay, so did I find anything for the day tonight? No, I didn't. But I did get some good candles. A win is a win, girl. A win is a win. I'm going to have to make it work with what I have. So we're about to try on some stuff and then start getting ready. But first, a candle haul. <laughs> so the first scent that I got is this sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which when the holidays and like stuff at Starbucks, you know, come around, I'm not like a pumpkin spice. Like I don't even drink like coffee and stuff like that. But when it comes to like scents, I can get down with the pumpkin. I'm not like a pumpkin drinker eater. Like I don't like pumpkin pie or any of that, but when it comes down to the scents, I can do the pumpkin scents. Like this smells good. Now, of course I love cinnamon anything. So, um, so that's probably like what's really getting me, but the pumpkin really just puts me in like the holiday mood. So so what I'm gonna do is put a three wick, a three wick candle like in the kitchen area. And then I have like a matching single wick can candle or a complimenting single wick candle for the bathroom. So for the sweet pumpkin, the candle that I got to go with that one is the the pumpkin pecan waffle. Oh, that is this one. Okay, and then I y'all know I had to get y'all I had to get my old faithful sun drench. Ah, oh, sun drench linen. This is probably what I'm gonna do in between both of my sweet scents just to kind of break things up a bit. This just smells so clean, so good. I love sun drenched linen. My friend um, Pugs actually put me on to this. So this is like, oh, I love like a clean scent. They have a wallflower, like linen and lavender that smells really good, but I don't like wallflowers for some reason. I really only like candles. And I think they had, yeah, so they had the sun drenched linen baby one that I'm going to put, I mean single wick, that I'm gonna put in the bathroom to go with it. This Praline Delight. Oh, because I love pecan praline anything. Like the ice cream that I eat from Van Leeuwen's is praline butter cake, something like that. Girl, praline is just like sweet, delicious. Just if y'all ever, if y'all have not tried praline pecans, pecans, however you want to say it, you definitely should try some. Oh, they smell so delicious. I mean, they taste so delicious. And the mat, they don't have a mini one of that because it's like a holiday set. So I, the one that I got to compliment it is, is this uh, cinnamon spiced vanilla for the bathroom. So, and this one's actually really, really faint. Yeah, this one's actually really soft, really delicate. So I think this will be really nice in the bathroom because I really want the pecan praline. I mean, the praline delight to be like the main scent that's like, um, girl, look at me in the, <laughs> in the mirror with the thing. I didn't realize. To be like the main scent that's like overpowering, but okay, so enough about the candles. So let's figure out what I'm gonna wear, okay? skirt earrings 
All right, you guys. Here I go. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.